This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Front brake pads renewal. Pull the bonnet release lever located in the passenger's footwell. Lift the bonnet slightly, depress the safety catch, fully raise the bonnet and support it with the prop. Using the tool provided in the vehicle toolkit, undo the fastener and remove the wheel centre cap where fitted. Then using the locking wheel bolt adapter where necessary, slacken each of the wheel bolts half a turn. Position the workshop jack under the lower arm front mounting point with a piece of wood on the jack head. Then raise the vehicle until the tyre is clear of the ground. Place an axle stand under the sill flange at the jacking point, indicated by an arrow pressed into the sill. Remove the jack. If required, repeat this procedure on the other side of the vehicle. Fully unscrew the bolts and remove the wheel. Turn the steering to full lock. Unclip the flexible brake hose from the bracket. Lever the caliper outward slightly to create clearance between the pads and the disc. Unscrew the caliper lower guide pin bolt. Use a slim open-ended spanner to counterhold the guide pin. Then unscrew and remove the lower guide pin bolt. Discard the bolt. A new one must be fitted. Pivot the caliper body upwards and away from the brake pads. Secure the caliper in place using wire or a cable tie. Withdraw the outer brake pad and inner brake pad from the caliper mounting bracket. Measure the thickness of the pad friction material. If any pad is worn to the specified minimum thickness, all four front pads must be replaced. Remove the lower anti-rattle clips and upper anti-rattle clips. Then check the condition of the guide pins and gaiters. The guide pins should slide easily, but without excessive play. Clean the brake pad locations in the caliper body mounting bracket. Brush the dust and dirt from the caliper and piston, but do not inhale it, as it is a health hazard. Check the condition of the caliper piston dust seal. If new brake pads are to be fitted, the caliper piston must be pushed back into the cylinder to make room for them. Clamp the rubber brake hose to prevent fluid backflow, then attach a hose to the caliper bleed nipple with the other end of the hose in a suitable container. Open the bleed nipple slightly, then push the piston fully back into the caliper body. The displaced fluid will flow into the container. Once the piston is retracted, close the bleed nipple, disconnect the pipe and remove the hose clamp. Refit the upper and lower anti-rattle shims to the caliper mounting bracket. Fit the inner brake pad, then fit the outer brake pad to the caliper mounting bracket. Ensure that the pad friction material is against the disc. Pivot the caliper back into position over the pads and mounting bracket. Insert the new lower guide pin bolt and tighten it to the specified torque. Clip the brake hose back into place. With both sets of front brake pads fitted, depress the brake pedal repeatedly until the pads are pressed into firm contact with the brake disc a normal pedal pressure is restored. Locate the wheel on the hub, then insert and lightly tighten the retaining bolts. Raise the vehicle and remove the axle stands.
lower the vehicle to the ground and tighten the bolts to the specified torque. Refix the centre cap and tighten the fastener. Remove the prop from the bonnet, then clip the prop into the storage bracket and close the bonnet.